Today's workout takes a pot holder. Actually, you do need two today. Two pot holders or washcloths or placemats or paper plates even. This is gonna be an upper body and core workout. Not super long, but it's gonna be super effective and it's something that you can do as many days as you want. And this kind of workout is gonna be far more effective for you than any or all crunches that you do. Just saying. A, a floor tile wood is really gonna work best. If you have carpet, you could use maple plate, but let's try to stick to the hard surfaces. What I'm gonna start with is a side line. It's for your obliques, but also gets your shoulder. Now with any of these exercises, I want you to see how far down you can go, like just maybe halfway and come up because it starts very easy. And as you go further, it gets a little harder to come back and you will feel that in your shoulder, also in your obliques. Now, if you're super strong, you might be thinking, all right, Pam, what else can I do? You can extend your arm and extend your leg to make it harder. Anytime you lengthen your levers, it is gonna be more challenging. And if you're like, heck no, this is enough. Now, when you pull that arm back, and when you think about your obliques, tighten them up and have that mind muscle connection because that totally makes you stronger, believe it or not. You just can't go through the range of motion. Let's just do one more and then we'll switch sides. And one arm is gonna be stronger than the other. Hello. Hello, shoulders and obliques. How are you? And I'll be right here on the side. Again, I just want you to start just a little bit. You might be thinking, okay, I got this, it's easy. That is fine. Test it out. I just don't want you to get stuck or fall over, which could happen. Remember, if you want to go harder, you extend and you bring it in. Think about that core, hold it nice and tight every time. Or you are right here. Whatever level, level you are at is right for you. Don't try to do too much. I'd rather have you start moderate and complete it than be stuck out here going, I, I have to do this. I don't want you to do that. Just two more. And we'll go one more time on each side. Now you could just do your leg. That's gonna make it harder too. Now that you know what we're doing, let's do one full set on each side. All the weight is on that right hip. Here you go. Arm, leg, oh. Both, totally up to you. This is so crazy, right? Because you're not doing that much, but it is engaging so many muscles. Pot holes are really one of my favorite ways to get a quick and efficient workout for your core. Let's just do two more and then we'll be done. Last one right here. You got it. Oh, excellent work, switch sides. These are dollar store placemats, by the way. I didn't have two matching ones, so I had to stop at the dollar store. I want you to breathe as you come out, too. A lot of times when things get really hard, you hold your breath. Nope. Try it out if you want to, or if it's really hard, don't try it out. Or maybe just try a leg. Or the arm by itself is way higher than the leg. Um, I think because it throws you off balance more, Last two right here, because we can. Here's two. Hang on, one more. And breathe. Okay. Now it's time for the double. Please, just like the last one we just did, take a little test run. We're gonna be on your knees. This is like an ab roller. Have you ever done an ab roller? You're gonna come out just a little bit and come back in. When you come back in, I want you to think about your core. Hold that nice and tight when you bring those pot holders in. So you're tightening up right here and using your core to bring that back. It is super duper duper challenging. If this for any reason hurts your back, I want you to keep your range of motion very small and bring it back. We're just gonna go four more just like that. I want you to keep your head down so your head, neck, and spine are in a nice straight line. That is super important. Last two right here. And breathe. If you're holding your breath, let it go. <laughs> One more. Are you mad at me yet? I hope not. Now, these are going to go on your feet. We're going to do some variation of a plank. 
Okay. To get into plank, I want your hands right under your shoulders. Ladies, your shoulders are not this wide. Nope, they're not. They're about this wide. I've seen too many women over the years go like this. Nobody has shoulders that wide except for professional athletes. Okay, hands right under your shoulders for a plank. If this is all you got, stay here. If you have a little bit more, it's like a, a jack on the floor. That's it. And breathe. Keep your butt up a little bit, and I want you to bring in that belly button towards your back. We have four more. There's three, two, one more. Bring it in. The thing about these exercises is you cannot do a hundred of them. Maybe if you are really fast, but I hear people all the time saying, I'm doing 500 crunches. If you can do 500 of anything, that's not effective. Okay. Plank again, you're gonna do a little knee tuck. Unless you can just hold a plank, then just hold a plank. So we have the plank that butts up a little bit, bring your knees in and bring them out. Bring them in, I want that core super, super tight. And you gotta breathe as those legs come out. Just four more like that. Here's four, there's three, here's two, there's one, I cannot do 100 of those, I'm just saying. We're gonna do both those one more time and that will be it for today. I would say shake it out, but it's all in the lower body and the core. Okay, that plank jack, we have eight of each before we finish up. Remember, hands are right under your shoulders. Get that butt up a little bit. When you come in, I want you to think about squeezing those inner thighs together. Keep that core super tight and keep breathing. There's four more. There's three. There's two. One. Bring it in. Damn, Pam. No, here's our last eight right here. Knee tuck or you're holding a plank, that's it. Hands on your shoulders. Here we go, just eight more to the home stretch. There's seven, keep breathing, please. Halfway there, last four. Here's three, there's two, and one. You might not ever look at pot holders the same way again. Thank you so much for working out with me. Remember, every minute spent on your health is worth it. Have an amazing day.